Hello everybody, it's Everaltable 4 for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we went through the private oasis and got ourselves a shard of the Triforce. And now we're just going to do uh, one thing before we leave, which is entirely optional, but I'd be remiss if I did not show it off. And that is the sliding puzzle. Not this one. This one. Yeah. Not the normal one. The one that's all messed up. Do you have an interest in the amusement of nobility? I do. In that case, would you care to hear an explanation of the game? Sure. Please tilt left, up, down, all right, okay. Uh, to move the panels, I'll try to arrange the picture. I'll place the final panel in the top right space to complete the painting. Uh, please bear in mind that games for amusement only. If you're successful, all can offer as a reward is money. Do you understand? Yes. The rules escape me. Very good. So, yeah, you just... It's a sliding puzzle game. Uh, I actually used to absolutely love these things. Um, I'm sure there's a way to like speedrun this that I just do not know. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It's time consuming. Um, and all you get out of it is money, as the guy said. So um, there is no point to in anyway. Um, it's still there. It's up here. I used to have those 15 puzzles, like number 15, and you kind of have to uh, get them in five miracle order or all sorts of words and stuff. It's pretty fun to play with. Um, let's see. So, no, it essentially winds up being that you have to, um, you know, uh, just get these. They do kind of going to figure out the tricks to it and stuff like that. Um, so this piece, I'm going to have to see a little more. And so this piece is the face pieces. Um, this has the only bottom. Hey! It's very exciting, it's very exciting, I know. I can't really contain myself. Don't use the control pad, because the left stick is annoying. Ta-da! You guys thought I wouldn't do it, and it only took me seven minutes or six minutes or something. But I did it. Well done, Master. Well done indeed. You're a most talented gamesmith of the noble classes. I offer this expression my respect and admiration of your skills. Please accept it. And yeah, he just vomits a whole load of rupees at you. Use it wisely. I didn't like the heart there. That's creepy. 689. So we got 50 rupees out of that. So if you want to do it again, take a moment to prepare the next picture. Oh, you have to wait outside. Okay. Yeah, so he changes the picture, and I'm not going to keep going in and out and doing it because I don't currently need the money. But uh, if you're short on money and you enjoy the game, it's there. It's completely and utterly useless, as the guy said. But I generally enjoy the sliding puzzles. I like the ones you can actually hold in your hand, though. I'm just more of a tactile person that way. But uh, I like hearing the click, you know, as the tiles move and feeling it. Uh, but, I don't know. I find it to be fun um, and not the worst thing. Uh, but anyway, it's time for us to now move on. And we are going to be moving on to... B3. So let's warp ourselves over to Great Fish, which is before, uh, and uh, go on from there. Okay, there go Grape Fish. Grape Fish, wow. Or um, whatever's next to it. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's nice to be playing this game again. I took a little break. And, uh, well, I just <laughs> enjoy the game. Uh, we will actually, you know, be, get, be doing important things this episode, I think. Um, I'm sure at some point we will. 
Uh, let's see. For this, we're going to be doing Sunken Number 2. I missed out on one of the treasure charts, didn't I? It's this one, isn't it? Oh, it's from, from the skull necklaces. Okay. So. Um, where can I get... I'm not gonna... I, I was supposed to, in between episodes or something, go get it. So I'm just gonna mark down on my notes that we're gonna come back here. Um, just to not confuse myself. Uh, I actually keep notes, guys, and they are written... Okay, so instead we're going to go to B5. Sorry about that. About face! Bye! The best place to get skull necklaces is generally going to be like, you know, going to uh, submarines or something and hoping that moblins are in there. Uh, as far as I know, they're also going to be in further dungeons, maybe? So there's that. I think at this point in the game you really should have it, but maybe, maybe I was just being lax or something. Uh, but let's get ourselves out some bait, because we're going to need it. Oh, this is a fun place. Okay, cool. It, we're going to uh, to that thing. So let's see where our, our buddy is. Old friend, old pal, Mapfish. I don't think this place is accessible until you get bombs, perhaps? Hey! Yeah, yeah, I heard. I'm glad Link can't catch pneumonia in this game, because man, is he ever in the rain and water. Gotta be freezing. Even if it's a warm sea. Tell me, small fry, have you ever heard of the fabled set of triumph forks? Yes, I'm collecting them. Oh, that's right, young fry, on that island, you know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, getting it is the hard part. And that's all the info I got. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, we are going to infiltrate the um, Islet of Steel, as this place is called. Um first thing we're going to do is blow these guys up because it's fun. Let's just get over there so that we can think we're over it. Yeah. Just get their stuff because why not? Uh, we're not going to be getting any um, hearts or anything, but you know, we can get money out of it. Nice. It's a good investment. It's probably easy just to like go up to one of these guys like point blank and shoot him just so that there's no question Ow. as to where the uh, treasure is. Uh, as you can see there's a ship guarding the entrance to this place so you can't get by it unless you destroy the ship as far as I know. I don't think you can clip past him. But, um, yeah, okay, let's just get rid of that guy, because he seems to be the most belligerent out of these peoples. I also like the cannons, they're just firing all sorts of different directions. Oh, you don't even get treasure out of that guy, that's rude. Anyway, let's go inside the Islet of Steel. It's just like a tiny mini fortress, it's cute. Um, unfortunately, like, there's there's nothing here except for one of these platforms, so, I don't know. It's just kind of weird on the outside, it's all, like, fortressy and guarded by enemies, and inside it's just, like, okay. Pots and, uh, ancient pedestal. At least there's a lot of money in here. And as always with these charts, gotta play the Wind's Requiem on this thing. Get a treasure. 
What could it be? It's almost like we were told what it is already. <gasps> yep, treasure chart. Number one, I think. Hooray. I'm just going to put another thing in bait over here, because we're going to be heading south from here. Oh, thanks. One of these days. It's like trying to, to do, like, all right, you can't, 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 there's no wind inside. Uh, it's like trying to um, somehow land on Epona or something. Hi! Don't mind me. Just uh, on my way to stealing your Triforce charts. Okay, so we got another reef over here. It's reefer madness, right? Am I right? I'm not right. And uh, we're going to be doing much of the same as we normally do with these reefs, namely destroying everything. And since uh, editing Dovi is already uh, fast forwarding things, maybe I'll do the same once I find uh, Mapfish. Because it can just get a little tedious. There you are. Eat, eat! I want to see the map fish grow into like Jabun Jabun or something. Jabun, not Jabu Jabu, Jabun. Hi! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is. Five Eye Reef. Long ago, there was a huge fairy who lived to the south of here in the forest on Outside Island. But now all that's left is ruins of the fairy found where she lived. It's sort of sad. Tell the truth, I hear there still is a fairy there. Yup, she's still alive and kicking down there, Fry. Yeah, we already met that fairy. That was the great fairy of fortune. And gave us a fancy schmancy large wallet. And yeah, let's head inside the fortress and blow things up. Not fortress, you know what I mean. I don't know why they set the cannons up in here, but they did. Let's see. Those guys. As long as you're pointing straight, uh, if you hold the cruise button, you'll always be pointing towards wherever you're moving, so it's easier to actually move and aim. And there we go. Sound. Okay. I don't know if the capture card didn't pick that up also, but the sound cut out for me, so that that's a good sign. That's a sign. I don't like signs. It wasn't my favorite movie, I'm sorry. Uh, so let's see, where's the high point that we're going to fly from? Looks like we'll have to take two, two trips. Kind of looks like I want to fly from there and into the middle. just I was gonna try to make it against slightly against the wind but it's better if I just do the extra three seconds to do the song it's just better that way and in this chest we get another treasure chart this is number 41 let's open it up on the map screen Click, 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 click. There we go. It's in uh, what looks to be the four eye reef. Uh, so let's get out of here. I remember where the door is. It's, it's over there. I have a remarkable ability to find 
the exit after searching the first three corners of a room with four corners. Actually, I'm probably going to drown before I get to the king, let's be honest. You know what's really great? Watching the Wind Waker speedruns of GDQ and just seeing all the ridiculous things that go on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! I'm invincible. No. So now, we want to head to A3. So... Fastest way is probably Windfall and then just going... No, what am I talking about? That's not A3, that's D1, or C1. I'm stupid. Now we're gonna go back to Greatfish. And just head to the left. I just wanted to see Windfall again, I'm sorry! It's a good thing nobody really cares about these cyclones that just keep going through their neighborhoods. It's, uh, you know, it's not like it's dangerous or anything to the island's ecosystem. Haha, <laughs> no, of course not. Alright, and we head... Northwest. And not like the kid Northwest. Why would you name your child that? Why? Why would you name your child North? Ooh. It's gonna get ridiculed by the internet. And obviously, the only reason why you should name your child is so that they're cool on the internet. I mean, look at Dovey. I'm so cool on the internet because my name is Dovey, right? Right? It's not like everyone thinks that I'm a girl because of my name, and no, no, no. Cries. Anyway, we're heading towards that. All the way on the very edge of the map. Uh, let's, we're also going to be looking for sunken treasure number eight over here, so... Let's get that ready. We got a C platform, and we're ignoring them as we should. Uh, and yeah, there's a uh, great fairy here. And in this chest, we get. Silver rupee! 200 rupees! Don't go that way, don't go that way. Um, so, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And we head over here, and there should be on this island around here. Around here. There we go. Old buddy. Blue Choo Choo. Who is going to give us number 15 for this, I think? What the heck was that? Guess there's a lightning storm coming in. Uh, but yeah, the only way to access this, you can obviously sail here at any time, but the only way to access this is with the hammer! Let's get inside before it rains. Will we actually get a great fairy without my capture card blowing up. Let's see. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. I think we got it. Anyway, we got more arrows. You can carry up to 60 with you. Fairies in this found shall ease your weariness. Great. That was one of two quiver upgrades. So it's good stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just capture a couple of fairies, because why not? <laughs> look how sad it is, and look how happy I am. good stuff like it's not just like frowning it has like worried expression on its face that 
Uh, it's just, it's funny and probably horribly cruel. But it's still funny. But, uh, yeah, we got everything over here. We got the time. 25 minutes over there. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. In the next episode, we are going to head south to A4, where we will... Well, let's find the map fish here. We did not do the map fish here. Uh, we're going to head south to A4, where we are going to be destroying more reefs. Hooray! I do love destroying reefs. That is eco-terrorism. Hey! That is thunder in real life, too. Life imitates art. Not in a good way. I wanted to go out for a walk today. Dang it, weather. Anyway, that's, uh, uh, Western Fairy Isle, I think we're on. Yeah, Western Fairy Island. I hear the bird people who live on Dragon Roost Island east of here have invented an incredibly useful device they call the grappling hook. No life, right? Yeah, we, we, we got that. We got that a long time ago. And yes, you can get joy pen- Well, actually, yeah, it's, that's good advice. Uh, you can steal items off of enemies, like the joy pennants. Okay. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth 204 with The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.